In this video, we're going to go over how to calculate the variance for a sample. As you see here, the notation is s squared, which represents standard deviation squared, or the variance. Just getting into the formula, we have the summation of each x minus the mean squared over n minus 1. And the sample I'm using only has four numbers. It's 2, 5, 9, and 12. The reason why I'm choosing such a small sample is because it's about the process that matters when you're calculating it by hand, and that's what I'm showing here. This is to, make, to help you understand how the process goes so that when you have a test, when you are asked about it, you know how to do it, whether it's three, five, ten numbers. The first thing you have to do is calculate x bar or the mean. So it's the summation of each x over n, which equals 2 plus 5 plus 9 plus 12 over 4 which gives you 28 over 4, which gives you 7. So a nice number. The next thing is to calculate each x and subtract it from 7, or the mean. Square it and then sum them all up. So we have 2 minus 7 squared plus 5 minus 7 squared plus 9 minus 7 squared plus 12 minus 7 squared, which gives you negative 5 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 5 squared which gives you 25 plus 4 plus 4 plus 25. Remember, when it comes to negatives, when you multiply a negative with another negative, you get a positive. Finally, we get 58 when you add them all up. The last thing here is to just put it all back into the formula. So we have s squared equals 58 over n minus 1, which equals 58 over 4 minus 1, which equals 58 over 3, which equals 19.333. If you wanted the standard deviation, all you'd have to do is take the square root of 19.33 repeating, and you'd have your standard deviation for the sample using these numbers. So this process is obviously very similar to finding the standard deviation. It's just a matter of where the square root is. So that's why I'm using the same numbers over and over and over again, because again, it's the same process. It's at the end that matters, and it's to help you solidify it in your head if you're watching each video. I understand from teaching the class, especially those that it may not be majoring in a science or, or math, that it's helpful to use the same numbers and then show them where the change is so it gets solidified in their head. If you found this to be helpful, please like and subscribe. I'll be having more videos in intro stats as well as some in advanced stats. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them in the comment section. If you have any suggestions for videos, I'd like to I'd like to know those because I'll probably do a video on it. And if you suggest it, I'll just make it faster. So let me know if you have any questions and stay nerdy, my friends.